It came down to this race to lock the final four into the winner take all at Homestead. It was four drivers or four teams that were gonna battle it out and the Bear wanted that spot for Levine Family Gaming. Mr. Mile and a Half gets it done on the bottom side of the racetrack, but how about Nick Jobes for Hendrick Motorsports Gaming Club gets it right back, Sloppy Joe hard in tow. Four wide racing throughout the pack the entire race. And you see here, Keffer, Voltage, all of these drivers looking to lock themselves in here. And Keffer looking to race around the leaders to get his lap back. How about this? Three wide folks couldn't get any closer as Keffer tries to get his lap back. He does. And the 95 of the Bear right on the outside trying to hold tough there with Voltage making a run. SHG Hot Rod looking to back it up to his uh, teammates win, but misfortune strikes into the wall and around goes SHG Hot Rod. His win hopes would end there. Starts a green, white, checkered restart for all the marbles here as Nick Jones tries to hold off the bear, but the bear gets the nice run around the outside and pulls away for Levine Family Gaming, a team that was on the outside looking in, gets the win at Homestead Miami Speedway. And that was all it took there with that win. Playoff contenders, the bear and Fluffy in that front row there. Strong run for Nick Jobes in third and Mike RPM with a great run in fifth. Solid run for him, J.R. Keffer. How about this? He was in studio with us racing, comes home with a sixth place finish after getting his lap back. Pennzoil, championship contender. Tough night, but rebounds for seven. Rowdy in ninth, and you see there, SHR Hot Rod comes home 11. And Voltage, another playoff contender, was struggling there to get to the front, comes home 12th and rounding out the field, the rookie, D.K. Brown. Six teams fighting for four championship spots as the Xbox drivers got underway at Homestead Miami Speedway with track bar leading from the pole. And HD Motorsports looking to make some ground, moves his way up through the field, but your leader track bar, unfortunate break for him, runs out of fuel early on in the race. Right before a caution too, but here goes the battle for the lead when we got restarted. Shell V for Team Penske Esports finding his way to the front. Looking to pad that points lead the Penske had going into the event there, but cautions breed cautions, and HG a big wreck. Sends a lot of drivers spinning, including J-Mac and Casey. Ton of cars with a lot of damage, but then here we go with a couple laps left. Garbage was going for the lead, and then he hit the wall, started dropping back. Not good for points. Not good for Roush Fenway Gaming at all, but there you see it. Slick and Dohar, it came down to some fuel mileage strategy. These two would battle it out for the win in the closing laps. And it's SHG Slick who gets the win over Dohar, who finished second. Solid points for Junior Motorsports to keep them above the playoff cut line. And you see the sigh of relief there for that Junior Motorsports driver. That second place finish was all he needed. SHG Slick with the win. Your front row playoff contenders there. How about Mordog? A solid top five finish for Hendrick Motorsports Gaming Club. And Track Bar, after running out of gas, comes home with the top five. And there it is, the Bolt in sixth, another playoff contender. Pretty decent run there for Gibbs Gaming and HD Motorsports after a bad wreck comes home in 10th. And rounding out the field, Casey, while that's garbage, who had a tough luck there at the end of the race, Shell V, points leader, coming home 13th. And with Homestead now behind us, we've dwindled it from six to four to battle it out for a championship in a winner take all. And there you have it, Roush Fenway Gaming and Gibbs Gaming, their championship hopes ended at Homestead. Just by three points as Levine Family Gaming and Stuart Haas Gaming get in, as well as Junior Motorsports and Team Penske Esports that has led the way since the start of the season. Those four will vie for a championship. And we look forward as a winner take all live here from Charlotte from the NASCAR Hall of Fame. That's right, all 28 drivers here on campus for the championship finale at ISM Raceway. Wednesday, October 23rd, two weeks away. Coverage begins at 7.30 p.m. Eastern time. You guys can tune in live on NASCAR 704 Heat on Twitch and Facebook. We look forward to seeing you October 23rd for the eNASCAR Heat Pro League Championship Race.